Let's go straight to Kiev now. And Lesia Orobats, who's a member of parliament, she supported the ousting of Yanukovych. And you may, may remember her from this image. She was famously caught on camera wearing a flak jacket in parliament during the heat of the uprising. Lesia, welcome back to the program. And let me ask you straight away, how can Hello. your nation ask for the desperately needed financial aid if not even a government has been formed yet? When will this happen? Uh, we do believe to form a government on Thursday, and uh, this is the final day for us to hold negotiations. Um, we do that for the first time ever to uh, transparently discuss the government before it is actually appointed or elected, and definitely it takes time. Now, the president, the acting president, has said that a coalition of national faith must be, uh, must be in, in, in form. Can that be possible? Can a coalition of different members that can appeal to all Ukrainians take, take government? You know, we Ukrainians uh, uh, do not feel scared with the uh, unrealistic tasks, because uh, three months ago no one could have told that such Maidan can happen and that uh, Yanukovych regime will be over. But definitely the government of national faith is the very hard solution, because we have to unite the country over one government with huge risks, uh, I mean, economic and security. Now. The acting president has also said that he's going to be talking to law enforcement about what he calls a very serious threat of separatism. And there are deep fears amongst the pro-Russian and the ethnic Russian uh, Ukrainians, for instance, in the Crimea. You just saw the clashes that have already broken out. They're worried about laws that parliament is passing. They're worried that Russian as a language will be abolished and other such things. Is there something you can say and do to reassure the Russian-speaking and the ethnic Russian Ukrainians? Um, Maidan united all nations in Ukraine, all ethnos, and uh, Russian-speaking uh, is not rare on Maidan. And what happens in Crimea is not about the language. It is about Russia trying to get some piece of Ukrainian territory under its auspices. And definitely uh, the issue of separatism is such high, is so high that uh, Russian flag is over the parliament of Crimea uh, peninsula right now. So how yes, do you see this? Uh, we are afraid of uh, military intervention and Putin is trying to find a pretext for that. Well, I was going to ask you that because obviously the West has, has, has warned them not to do that. The foreign minister, Lavrov, has, has again reiterated non-intervention. But you say you're afraid that that actually might take place. Uh, nothing actually uh, puts a uh, scare to Russian-speaking or Russian citizens over our territory. And we are ready to unite a country over economic crisis and um, dealing all the other problems. But right now, we have not only the internal enemies, but we have external enemies like Russia. And they are just looking for a pretext to attack. Uh, they failed to, to have support in the east of the country, so they are trying to do that in the Crimea Peninsula. Sochi Olympic Games is over. This is something that was predicted months ago. Uh, going back to the financial hole that Ukraine is in, it is practically broke. Who knows what Russia will do in terms of potential sanctions, potential hiking of gas prices. But beyond that, the West needs you to make very painful reforms and sacrifices. You have said it is a time for painful sacrifice. Is Ukraine prepared to do that in order to get the much needed aid from the West? We don't have other choice. We have to make unpopular steps and we have to have this uh, government taking those steps, uh, not just in order to have financial aid, but to have the plan of reforms to get us out of this economic crisis. Uh, this is very much important uh, also to get some uh, 
financial economy, uh, and economy independence from Russia, because we are right now dependent not only on the credit money, but also on gas. We are not uh, new in these trade wars, which Russia have organized for us since 2005, uh, but we need your assistance, I mean, America and Europe, your assistance to get uh, our border, I mean, Russian border, from our territory to somewhere between Ukraine and Russia. This is not the, uh, just the issue of Ukraine, this is the issue of the whole region's stability. Mr. Orobat, Member of Parliament, thank you very much indeed for joining me.